It's Monday, October 26th, and you're watching The Great Lost Rewatch. Today we're discussing the episode, Solitary. This is our first Saeed-centric episode. I love Saeed. Like a lot. Like a lot a lot. I can't give you like a tangible reason why either. I just really have always felt for him as a character and have rooted for him and I, I just, I love him. It also doesn't hurt that he's incredibly good looking. See Saeed on the beach looking at pictures of the unknown woman who we know is Nadia. Can you be unknown and known at the same time? He sees a cable on the beach uh, and that cable is to be seen later in season three through the looking glass. He follows the cable into the jungle and he's caught by another unknown yet known woman because we don't know who she is but we learn that she is Danielle Rousseau, the woman who's been sending the French transmission. Rousseau takes Saeed back to her quote-unquote temporary bunker and she starts to ask him about Alex, someone named Alex. Saeed tells Rousseau that Nadia is dead and he was responsible for killing her. Why does he say that? Why does he say that she's dead when she's not and he knows that she's not and he helped her escape so in fact he is responsible for her not death. Saeed's flashbacks take place in Iraq when he was a soldier in the Republican Guard. Something that bothered me about Saeed's flashback was they started speaking in the foreign language and then it, it switched to English. And why why did they do that? Were they really so afraid of putting off people that they we wouldn't read subtitles? Which was weird because we do in Sun and Jin's flashbacks. I, I don't understand. They want Saeed to torture Nadia for information. She's not giving up any information so his superior wants Saeed to kill her and instead he shoots himself in the leg and helps her escape. Meanwhile, back at the caves, Locke and his hunting buddy bring Hurley some extra luggage they found from the plane. Oh, by the way, this hunting buddy happens to be Ethan. Ethan, right up there with Christian Shepard, is characters who've appeared more on the show <laughs> as dead people in flashbacks than they have as living people. Hurley finds some golf clubs in the luggage. That gives him the great idea of building a golf course. Our lives suck. Everyone's nerves are stretched to the max. I mean, we're lost on an island. So that people can stop stressing and worrying and just have some fun. That's right, fun. I liked Sawyer's reaction when he heard that Jack was playing golf. Doctor playing golf. Whew, boy howdy. I've heard everything. What's next? Cop eating a donut. Everyone's betting all this money on whether Jack will sink this final putt or not, and then we cut away before we find out. Did he or did he not make the putt? How come we don't get to know that? Also in this episode, you can see Walt retreating more and more from his father and gravitating towards Locke. Poor Rousseau. As Saeed says, she's not crazy, it's just that she has been alone for far too long. When Saeed tells Rousseau that Nadia is dead and he's responsible, she gets very sympathetic. I'm so sorry. And of course she would be because she had to kill the love of her life, Robert. Saeed asked Crusoe what she meant when she said in her transmission that it killed all of them. And she goes on about how her, her team, her expedition team, came back from the Black Rock and that's when it started and that the others were carriers of whatever the sickness is. By what we learned in season five, it's pretty clear that the monster has something to do with it. Rousseau finally tells us that Alex is her child. And she doesn't say if the child was male or female. I remember when we first see Alex, I was kind of shocked. Oh, it's, it's a girl. Earlier, Rousseau had talked to Saeed about how she'd never seen anybody else on this island, but she'd always heard them whispering and Saeed kind of shrugged this off as a poor lonely lady. The last scene is him running through the jungle and hearing whispers. And I don't think the whispers have ever been cleared up. I mean, we know that they're associated with the others, or the natives, or the hostels, whatever you want to call them. They have many aliases now. That's where we're going to leave it today with Saeed hearing creepy whispering in the jungle. Liz, you're talking about Raised by Another Tomorrow, so I'll see you then. We're going to need to watch that again.